plant-based barbecue. Oh yeah. All right, guys. Uh, we're still walking through our neighborhood here. We're on a walk. I'm giving Ken our a workout here. And uh, we're coming up now on a very significant spot in my journey. This was one of the worst days uh, of the entire journey, one of the hardest days of my entire journey. And it, it's at this, you can kind of see up here, there's like a, a car going up here, it's a roundabout. And this roundabout is very significant in figuring out what it actually takes to get that weight off once and for all, what it takes to reverse disease, what it takes to turn your really your lifestyle around. It all came to a head right up at this place we're going to talk about here in a minute. I'm going to show you why. But this was one of the hardest days of my life, definitely the hardest day of my journey. It was about, about 60 days in. I was having a lot of doubts. I mean, I ate barbecue and meat and won the American Royal and was a high-level... Um, chef, pit master, I pretty much only ate meat, and here I was, 60 or 75 days in, cut out all meat, cut out all dairy, I was walking, my body was fighting me, and I was having serious mental attacks, like, should I keep doing this, I just want to eat something, I just want a piece of pizza, I just, I've, I've just, I'm at the end of my road, again, this was about about 60, somewhere around there, that 60 days in. And I've never been back to this spot in walking before. First time ever. And as I come up on it now, um, it's really hard to, to come back to this spot because um, I'm going to show you this, this hydrant right here is really, this like light right here is really important to me in this journey because I'll come back to it. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. I'm sorry, guys. This, this spot is just... You're going to find a spot in your journey, no matter what journey you're on, to where certain things, like I just showed you my first day, that spot was important to me. This spot is like was the turnaround point in everything because I realized that there's going to be obstacles. There's going to be huge challenges when you start anything, whether it's in business, or in weight loss like I did, or d disease reversal, whatever it is, you're gonna have times, and you're gonna be in, a, in particular places or spots, and you're never gonna forget those spots in your life. Like, think about your favorite sports team. Mine's the Kansas City Chiefs, they're gonna play in the Super Bowl. But think about sports teams when your sports teams won the Super Bowl. Or somebody that you, um, think about the day you got married. Think about the day your child was born. You knew where you were at, right? You remember that spot for the rest of your life. This spot that I'm standing in right here, again, I've never been back here before, but I was walking right here along this spot right here. And I was just feeling really down. I was, I was literally done. I was, gonna, I was gonna quit. I'm not a quitter. You guys all know that about me. I was gonna quit. I was done, I was gonna turn right here and I was gonna go right back home instead of my normal three miles like I had done. And I walked up to this spot and I looked over and the reason I wanna show you this is because, have you ever heard the term when it rains, it pours? Like it doesn't seem like one more thing that can go wrong, right? Like your car broke down, so it's like that's the worst thing that's gonna to happen today. But, but all of a sudden, something else happens. Like your car broke down, yeah, that was really bad a second ago and I felt like it, that like that was terrible but then the phone rings and your child's sick and then something else happens like something breaks at your house um you know you forgot to pay your light bill whatever it is everything seems to ball up at once and that's what happened in this spot right here i looked across this street right here and um i remember it like it was yesterday there were two large dogs right here and the owner was walking them and they you they could you could tell she could barely hold on to them and the dogs for whatever reason decided that they were gonna that they were upset and they were gonna chase after me so I was starting to cross this path and these dogs got really vicious and started running across this street at me and when you have giant dogs running at you I mean it's I guess it's funny now but it's not when you have giant dogs running at you, your first inclination is you kind of freeze, you know what you're gonna do. So I kind of was startled and then 
I, instead of like running, and you could see like a big truck coming through here and some cars coming through here right now. And like there's, a, there's another car coming in over here. This is a very busy intersection. So the dog started running at me and I froze for a second. And I don't know, I still don't know to this day why I did this. But when they started running at me, they were kind of running this way. I went this way and I started running like this. And I ran into the street and I was looking back at the dogs. And when I did that, a car came along and it came within inches of me right here. I almost got hit by a car. It literally came, I'm here in the street and the car came to about right here and almost hit me and started honking at me. And the person was jumping, was screaming at me in their car. And I just like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. And the dogs were coming at me and I didn't know what to do. And finally the guy realized that I was in, in trouble you know, and I, did, I, I was confused, and um, the owners got a hold of the dogs. The dogs ran away. The guy kind of said, are you okay? And I was like, yes. He got back in the car, and I walked back up right here, and I was distraught. I was going back the way I came. Like, I just got here. I was going back the way I came, and I walked through this grass right here, and I was very upset. I didn't, I was like, I was done physically done and then my phone started ringing which was in my pocket and for some reason I had the ringer on that day usually I don't when I walk and my it was my wife on the phone and my wife was like we uh, my son's got a problem uh, he's 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 got a problem at school uh, it wasn't a bad it didn't end up being a bad problem but at the time the timing was just there everything started balling up on me and then my wife was um, telling me something that I forgot to do and all these things were balling up at one time and I finally had just completely had it. I walked right over to this place right here. Uh, this is so hard for me to even do this. And I sat right here in this spot, right in this exact spot. I've never been back here since. And I just said, you know, what am I gonna do? Like. What am I gonna do, Brian? Like, I cannot take this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I, 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 I just wanna eat. I don't wanna walk anymore. I don't wanna talk about my weight anymore. I don't wanna talk about my health anymore. I don't want anybody to get, take any more blood. I don't wanna do anything. I just wanna go home. I wanna get in front of my computer and I wanna write code. I wanna do what I know how to do. And I was done. And I sat here for about 20 minutes. Cars were going by, cars were stopping, going, you know, making, looking at me like something was wrong. I had somebody, a lady, walk right up the street right here, right up the sidewalk right here. She stopped right here and said, are you, sir, are you okay? Do I need to call, a, a, do, is it an emergency? Do I need to call the police? Do I need to call an ambulance? And because apparently I looked so distraught um, that it was literally, it was literally one of the toughest days of my life. It really was. I mean, um, I, I don't even, I, I can't even explain the feeling, but I got it together like I'm doing now. Although I'm, I'm really not upset now. I'm more happy than upset, but I literally was distraught and, and upset that day. I got it together. Um, I said, you know what? I'm not quitting. I'm getting up and I'm doing this. I am. I'm getting up. I just almost got bitten by two huge dogs. I almost got hit by a car. Uh, I had, my son was having problems. My wife was having problems. Everything was going wrong. I didn't want to go on anymore. My body was telling me, you know, that, that I, you know, that I needed to eat meat and dairy and basically everything that I thought about what I was doing I felt was wrong at that point that moment in time but I didn't do it I said you know what God you know um, and whoever your God is I said God what am I supposed to do right now like what where what do I do like I need you to to do something I need an answer to what I'm supposed to do like I can't take it anymore and finally it just hit me and I, I said you know what I'm done. I'm getting up. And I did. I got up right then. And I was like, I'm not letting this get me down. I'm going on. I went. I crossed the street. 
I walked my three miles, I went back home, and the rest is history. All right, here we are over a year later, kept the weight off. I, you know, I don't have, I'm not running around with six pack abs or anything like that. I'm not some like crazy, you know, muscle guy, but I'm 45 years old. I'm probably in better shape than the majority of most 45 year olds. Um, I look good. I feel good. I've got my confidence back. But the, the point of all this is really, I, somebody suggested that I should come do this video. I didn't want to do it. I've been holding off on it for a year. Um, but somebody suggests I need to do it because here's the thing guys you're gonna have This moment in your journey whether it's in, whether it's for weight loss disease loss whether it's for um, In your business in your personal life in your relationships You're gonna have that one defining moment where everything goes wrong like the dogs gonna bite you You know there was another spot. I, I forgot the same day I was actually walking and a, there were, a snake went right in front of me too. And I don't like snakes. Same day this, the, that this all happened as well. Just everything was going wrong. And uh, um, my wife even talks about this moment in, in my book that's coming out. Um, she wasn't here, but she could hear me on the phone. She could hear my distress on the phone that when she called and was having issues. And she realized, you know what? He's really having, he's really having a huff, tough time. I need to get home to him. And when I when I did get home, pull myself up the bootstraps, my wife was there. She she left, she came home, she met me, she knew something was wrong. But by the time she got home, I was I had overcome it. So back to my point is you're gonna have that day. Maybe it's today for you, maybe it's tomorrow. You're gonna have little setbacks along the way. That's just part of it. But you're gonna have that one defining moment to where you can either keep going or you can quit. There's really no in between once you have this day. It's not like a, uh, I'm thinking about quitting or I'm thinking about going on. You're going to have this one day and this day that I just described was it for me. It's going to happen for you, no matter what it is you're trying to overcome. Business, life, particularly weight loss, you're going to have the one day and how are you going to react? Are you going to sit down and cry? Probably. That's what I did. I sat right at that spot right there and I cried my eyes out. You're probably going to do the same thing and that's okay. That's okay to, to, to cry, let it out, to feel bad, to, to be vulnerable. But at the end of the day, it's what do you do from that moment? Do you sit there and cry? Do you put your head down? Do you walk home? Do you put your head down and do you quit? Or do you pull yourself up by your bootstraps and do you go conquer whatever it is you're trying to conquer? That's what I chose to do. I chose to conquer it. And here I am, 140 pounds that I've lost overall. I lost 120 pounds in that six months, reversed six diseases, including liver disease, and I overcame it. Are you gonna do the same? That's the question. So I'm gonna show you one more thing today that was one of the best parts of my journey. Uh, this was the, one of the worst parts, but I'm gonna show you what one of the best parts was now. So guys, I hope you get a lot out of this. Thank you so much. And um, let me know if you have any questions.